be blessed by the divine five spiritual things that people do that are totally unnecessary in the name of spiritual practices lots and lots of blindful activities are being followed by the people in different parts of the world in different societies many of them are designed by people who want to make money out of gullible innocent people there are thousands of such practices across the world i thought i will highlight a few of them for you to understand the logic and the reasoning behind that and why those are not necessary at all number 1 in the list is in the name of vastu shastra an indian feng shui system people demolish parts of the building for instance they believe that a toilet should not be in a particular location and therefore it must be demolished and a new toilet should be constructed elsewhere or a main door of a house should be should may not be giving them the right kind of energies so therefore uh, demolish it construct another part of the wall in the building and create another opening there there is absolutely no truth in these kind of things there is of course a wonderful system of generating or harvesting the vastu energy for a house without having to do any kinds of alteration any kind of demolition i personally have myself written a book called as vastu without demolition that is available on amazon which you can buy and you can read and i'm happy to guide you on vastu shastra requiring no demolition whatsoever the second in the name of astrology a lot of people believe that they have to do expensive pujas or what they call pariharas and these are rituals that were designed by the astrologers to make a ton of money now there is absolutely no need for most of the pariharas and you need not blindly follow them at all for instance people talk about sade saat or seven and a half years shani period if this is indeed true about i will say 1/6 of the population in the world at any given point of time is being affected by saturn is that true is that what happens it does it mean that the 1/6 of the population in the world is being severely affected by the saturn's transit that's total total unnecessary but people do follow such things in the name of spiritual practices and these are only going to damage your purse and certainly going to destroy your peace of mind third in the name of spiritual practices there are various kinds of things that are done to a small child the child may have been born with some kind of a dosha for instance called as the mangal dosha and therefore the child is go is asked to go through various practices various temples um, shave their head off and um, you know uh, uh, wear a particular kind of a thing or even get married to a tree how silly this is and there are also people who believe that just because a lady of the house has you know a um, uh, uh, so called the mars dosha that she may bring ill luck including killing the mother in law or causing the death of the husband can you imagine how blind this is and such kind of beliefs uh, or even prevalent in educated people society people who work for multinational people who work in it industry people who work in, uh, uh, in you know uh, who, who have traveled abroad who have seen things how silly these kind of th- these beliefs are these must immediately stop the fourth thing in the name of spiritual cleansing a lot of people make money in the process for instance some people may have some kind of a depression some maybe maybe uh, go undergoing some kind of a uh, um, you know depressive period in their life maybe they lost their dear one maybe they lost their job 
and therefore they may be going through some amount of depression in the process they may have some hallucinations and these require a medical treatment however the first thing people do in some parts of the world specifically in the part of the world that i live in they take this boy or the girl to a, a tantric who will then do some kind of a perform some kind of a puja to eliminate this problem from this person and they call it the spiritual cleansing process is it necessary at all absolutely not necessary when you need to go to a doctor to help cure yourself please do go to a doctor do not go to a spiritual cleanser in the aim that such a person will be able to cleanse yourself the fifth and perhaps a very interesting thing is in the process of cleansing the the, the body of various kinds of uh, illnesses people also go through various kinds of crystals and various kinds of uh, methods and they buy expensive stuff um, they they dig different pits in the houses they place them different places they go to a um, uh, some kind of a, um, um, you know practices for instance they go to a cemetery they sleep there in the night none of these have any kind of scientific proof it doesn't require it only damages your own system it damages your psyche it damages your confidence it damages your self-esteem none of these are required all you require is a simple meditative technique and one such technique is our simplified kundalini yoga method when you meditate on your own life force your brain operates at the alpha level of frequency at that frequency you start to start healing yourself you begin to heal yourself you 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 regulate your food habits you like regulate your thought patterns you regulate your sleep patterns you regulate your work patterns you regulate your physical relationship patterns so called the sexual pattern with your life partner and thereby start to regulate your entire life and start to attract good health long life enough wealth peace prosperity fame and wisdom not only that learn the introspection sect techniques taught to us by our guru Sri Vedatri Maharishi when you do that you begin to superimpose your negative beliefs with positive thought patterns you begin to inculcate good thoughts good words good deeds in your system don't forget visit simplifiedkundaliniyoga.com start your spiritual awakening your success is in your hands god is inside you the other end of your your mind is the almighty force keep in touch and succeed in your life be blessed by the divine